guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Karis. I was really stumped for inspiration for today's video. I really find it hard to like make one every day. I'm gonna be honest, guys. And also, I don't think it's like the best for my body and mind to make a video every day. It's just, oh, it, it is honestly, you have to put a lot of work into it. And I probably don't put too much of an effort into it. I'm not that good at editing and that sort of thing yet, guys. But it just so happens that, lucky for me, Louis Vuitton are always releasing things. So I've always got things to talk about in content. So today I'm going to be talking about really strange Louis Vuitton things that are like recent releases that I kind of browsed on different Instagram pages. And yeah, guys, I actually think Louis Vuitton is going to have a new menswear collection runway show very soon as well. I saw a sneak peek of this really gorgeous keep all bag. So let me know if you want me to do a review on that as well. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more videos about handbag reviews and that sort of thing and, you know, upcoming releases. First things first, I noticed this basketball handbag from the NBA collection that, um, well, it comes in like a net, but at first I thought it was just a basketball, but actually I think it is a functional bag. There is a zipper and like a strap, so you can wear it with the net or without the net. So I guess it's like a two-in-one kind of thing. Now the basketball kind of bag shape, I've definitely seen been done before by Jeremy Scott for Adidas, I believe. And I only know that because I recently watched uh, Super Day Gibbs kind of live stream. He was showing some of his strangest bags and he happened to own this Jeremy Scott basketball bag, which I feel like is made out of a real basketball. So anyway, since Louis Vuitton has been doing this NBA kind of collection thing, it, you know, it's a no-brainer. They have to release a basketball-shaped bag, right? I mean, I would personally, if I was going to get a bag like this, yeah, I'd probably go for the more Adidas route, like the Jeremy Scott price range. I don't know if I'd fork out thousands of dollars for a basketball-shaped bag, but that's just me. There's also a coffee cup-shaped bag um, from Louis Vuitton, which is 1,400 euros. Um, this is actually pretty cute, to be honest, but again, guys, you could probably get this from Kate Spade or something like that. I think these like super kitsch kind of um, novelty bags are really adorable and I do enjoy them. But, you know, a coffee cup, I guess like if you're drinking your morning coffee and wearing your coffee cup bag at the same time, it could be like a really cute look. But I don't know, guys. And not only that, there's going to be a Louis Vuitton coffee cup holder kind of thing. So this is a coffee cup for 870 US dollars, which is a lot, guys. I mean, if you're a coffee lover, like I love coffee, I drink coffee every day, maybe it's worth the little glimmer of joy to drink out of my $870 coffee cup mug every day. I don't know. But I did hear that, um, you know, Celerant, they have this like gift shop and they also have their own coffee cup for a lot less. So if you want to design a coffee cup, you don't necessarily need to fork out this much money. But, you know, it is pretty cute. And I like the little Louis on the top. That is pretty funny. A carrot-shaped um, keychain. Now, I think this is actually pretty cool, to be honest. I think especially if you have, like, a massive bag, to have, like, a dangling carrot off it is pretty hilarious. It is 1330 US dollars, so not cheap, guys. I do actually have a Loewe strawberry charm, which I absolutely love. I picked that up for a few hundred dollars a few years ago. I think I got it secondhand on eBay because I love finding deals. But even from Loewe, these kind of novelty charms are nowhere near this price point of, like, you know, $1,300. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, if you want a vegetable shaped charm or a fruit, Louis Vuitton is not the first brand to do it. But, you know, it has a little monogram on it, so if you're a collector, you probably would want this. I mean, it is pretty random, I'm not going to lie. Eraser necklace for $810. Now, I don't know, guys, but if I had this eraser necklace, there is nowhere that eraser... There's nowhere that eraser is ever going to be used by me, because I've had, like, really cute stationery in the past, which I've collected from, like, Japan and that sort of thing. Like, when I was in, like 
when I was like 11, I remember these Korean girls came to my school and they had the cutest style guys and they had all this like cute Korean stationery and I remember one of them gifted me like a Korean stationery set with all these cute little characters on it and I never used the erasers in that guys, like I couldn't bear to even see them, you know, out of place because I don't know I was just obsessed with like Japanese and Korean stationery when I was like 12 and 11. I still kind of really love it to be honest but this is next level guys you know I ate $810 eraser like this is just the this is beyond me I can't even deal with it so and guys I think this is really beautiful if you have like a mansion and you want some really cool home decor totally get this terranium garden trunk guys because this is really gorgeous now it is a clear style trunk with a little base where you can set up your own little terrarium um yeah so if you're very creative if you're like a florist this could be a really cool display piece even in your store I think like if you have a florist like this could be a really cool you know talking feature but you know it's going to be a hefty investment um thirty two thousand five hundred dollars for um the monogram or thirty six thousand five hundred for the clear so this trunk yeah comes in two options and that's in us dollars guys so Acro Papillon being released, which I really love. This is going to come out in July. It's 660 US dollars. Now, I assume they are kind of inspired by that golf ball carrying bag. Like, I remember seeing this golf golf ball bag with that same little strap on it. Oh, I feel like it's a mix of that and the mini Papillon that you get when you buy the Papillon 30. There used to be this set of Papillon 30 with the mini Papillon bag stuck to it. I feel like it's a mix of that golf ball bag and that together. $660 guys though, ugh, you know, you know what I think. Just go on eBay and get the vintage one, honestly. Um, this little LV heart on chain bag guys. Now the, you know, a uh, fall in love collection is only for, you know, Hong Kong, I believe, and China. So I really wanted to get that heart shaped bag, but alas, guys, I don't think it's going to happen. And I have made a lot of damage lately. So I don't think I would really want to buy it anyway at the moment. But I mean, if it did come to Australia, this little heart on chain bag would super tempt me. And I feel like it, the price point won't be too bad. You know, another very novelty piece from Louis Vuitton. Can you get heart-shaped bags from other brands? Yes, you can, guys, but it's it's cute, right? I've also talked about this in my previous videos, the LV Fornicetti collection. There's going to be kind of like a little bag shaped like some sort of cathedral or something, which is interesting. Again, it kind of reminds you of Kate Spade. But, you know, to be honest, in this collection, I'm actually really loving the sack plat in the small size with the windows on it. It kind of reminds me of like Madeline and their orphanage. I don't know. I think it looks really cute. And guys, when I was doing my research, I stumbled across this um, like about that basketball bag because I thought it was Mosquito. And then I like start stumbled across like cool Mosquito bags. And I stumbled across on Farfetch this Mosquito blow dryer mini bag. And I'm honestly like considering buying it because I can't deal with how cute it is. Like. It's a thousand dollars. It's a blow dryer. Do I need this, guys? Like, am I just getting some bit? Oh my god, guys! This is like the cutest mosquito bag I have ever seen. Anyway, I had to add that in on the end. <laughs> but what do you think about Louis Vuitton's kind of novelty pieces? Let me know if there's something crazier that you've seen going to be released lately. I would love to know. And yeah, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.